I have lost 285 pounds and if you watch this video till the end you are going to understand weight loss better than you do right now. Not only have I lost 285 pounds, I've also regained 250 of those pounds. One of the things that has helped me lose that weight and keep it off and maintain it is finding activity that I love. And as you can see here, I am beating on a tree stump with a mauling axe. Currently, the rotator cuff on my right arm is torn, so I can only use my left arm. Uh-oh, here comes the money shot. Bow! Chicka bow! And I'm doing this in a way that does not put any strain whatsoever on my right shoulder. So I am going after this tree stump with my non-dominant hand. And this tree stump is the perfect microcosm for weight loss. Because having gone through both journeys, I have realized that just like this tree stump, losing weight is something that requires a consistent and constant effort. And you can put in a lot of effort and not really see much result and it can get frustrating but if you continue to put in the effort day in and day out over time you are going to find there are greater changes than you could have imagined and you will not see them coming but they will happen because this being my non-dominant hand when i first started swinging this thing i could not hit the same spot twice to save my life but as you can see now with practice and repetition, I have improved. Just like you will improve on whatever journey that you are embarking on. The more that you do it, the more you're gonna learn and the better you're going to get. People get so frustrated when they start out and it's so hard. Yeah, it's supposed to be hard. That is normal, that is good. And you are gonna feel frustrated and that's also normal. The key is to continue going forward anyway. And if you do that, you will get past that and you will be smooth sailing. It's very difficult. You know, I feel like in the moment I'm not really getting anywhere, but I have faith. I have faith that if I continue to do this over a period of time, that I am going to be the greater force of these two things. What is more stubborn? I asked this on my Facebook story the other day. Who is more stubborn, me or a tree stump? And about 15% of the people who haven't been paying attention picked the tree stump. And it's not actually a bad bet because obviously my rotator cuff is torn. I'm using a mauling axe, which isn't even the right axe. And obviously an axe is not the right tool for a tree stump. But does that mean it's impossible? No. Does that mean that if I keep on hammering away at this thing, that eventually that tree stump isn't going to be there? I would like to think so. So one thing that I'm sure of is if I looked at this tree stump and I looked at the tool I had and then I looked at my shoulder, I could very easily and understandably say, this is impossible. I can't do this. If I were to say that, then it would be true because I would not even attempt it. Now, having gone through the weight loss process and really enjoying swinging an ax, by the way, I'm not just doing this to try to make a point. I have found an activity I absolutely love and you know i gave it up for a while waiting for my shoulder to heal and i got i got bored um you know i got frustrated and i decided hey maybe i can do this in a way that's not going to hurt the torn rotator cuff so i i tried and sure enough um as long as i'm going straight down only i can't go sideways in any way um and i'm you know i raise it with my non-dominant hand and then i use gravity to assist me with a, a little bit of a a squat that gives gives it the pressure and then you know i'm able to bear down on it and you know for me that's that's kind of fun it's stress relief anxiety relief uh, i like doing things where I can, I can put my full force into it now this tree stump is very stubborn and it is a worthy foe and i enjoy that i actually enjoy the process and that is another important part of the weight loss journey you want to enjoy the process you want to learn to enjoy it because the process is your life so learning to enjoy that learning to reach your goals in a sustainable way while also feeling satisfied fulfilled and happy is very important in the sustainability and as i have learned in regaining the weight and thinking it was over nearing 40 is that sustainability is everything so whatever your goal is, whether it's to lose weight, whether it's you know to get a new job, to get that girl, whatever it is, know that if you if you size it up and it seems really hard, and you immediately give up and, and you only look at the, the obstacles in your way, you only see you see those obstacles in your way as roadblocks, then you are not going to get it. There is no chance. But if you see it as a challenge, a challenge to figure out a way, a challenge to say, hey, this shouldn't be able to be done, but I am going to do it. 
one way or another. And if I don't, I am going to try every single thing I can. And if I don't do it, I'm going to die out there trying. If you look at things that way, you will be absolutely amazed at how much you can actually accomplish. Our minds are our biggest obstacles because there are so many things that we just think we can't do. So whatever obstacles are in your way, no matter how big they are, no matter how long they take, just remember, if you continue to chip away at it day by day and you do not give up and you continue to try to figure it out and stop looking at these obstacles as roadblocks but instead as challenges, challenges that you are going to overcome, then you will get everything that you wanted and more. I hope this helped.